Alright y'all, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the right and wrong way to build prop buildings in Roblox Studio. So let's get into the video. Alright, so, first I'm going to be showing you the wrong way to build your prop buildings. And uh, basically, I'm not even going to use this building, so I'm just wasting my time here spending building this building. So, um, just for this video, so please subscribe, I guess. Alright, so I already have like the base done. We just got the little roof here and um, the main wall. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start here. Um, this is probably gonna be a time lapse, so. <laughs> So, I didn't do too much just because I'm not even going to be using this. So, as you can see, I built this without any decals or anything like that. All of it's separate parts. So, like as you can see, the door here. I made a door handle. All of this, this whole window is made out of eight different mm. parts. Yeah, it's just, it might look good, but you really, you really don't need all of this when you're placing like, 50 of these in your game or something or however many houses you're gonna have and nobody's really gonna pay much attention But yeah, as you can see, you know, we have like this super detailed well not really super detailed door handle But you know, it's just it takes up a lot of parts and this whole building is 28 parts <clears throat> Now I'm gonna show you how to make it out of just only three parts Alright, so now we're back blank slate. We just have the three parts here and believe it or not This is all you're gonna need to make this building all of the doors and the trim and the windows Is all one decal. So I'm gonna show you how to make that right. All right, so You just get on paint.net, which is free or I'm using Adobe Photoshop here Photo editing software, but just draw some lines and make a window here, you know and I usually like to make the glass. It's just black. I just put it black on there And then we have these little shutters here They're not that detailed and then I just went on Google and typed in front door and got this on here Now as you can see this is the whole front and I'm just gonna upload this to Roblox as one decal and Instead of using like 20 30 parts to make this it's just your already existing part on one decal this is just going to be for the back and the sides. It's just the trim here because we're not going to be putting some windows. I could put windows on the back and stuff, but I'm not going to do that today. And I already had this made or otherwise I would have made like a time lapse of me drawing it all out. But I already had the window textures made and all that. So, yeah. Okay, so real quick, I did not cover this in the video, but you might be wondering, how do you make it like the right shape for your building? So it's not like squished or too big or something. So just face your camera towards the front of it. Take a screenshot. All right, so now you can just pull up your screenshot here and crop it to the size of your building, just like so. Now, like I said, I already have this made. So we're just gonna plop it in here. So you would, you know, have to place all these yourself, but I already had this made, like I said. So you just pop it in here and size it correctly um if you were making it you know I, I already have it made but if you were just starting to make it you know you'd place your door and your windows where you want your windows and stuff like that then take off the background so it's transparent save it like that and upload it to roblox also if you're having this problem where you have like another texture and it's facing over the your decal just go into the part here and then find whatever decal it is so it's going to be this one take it out of the part and put it back in and then it'll overlap the other textures so now all you want to do is go back into roblox insert a decal here go now just get the id to your texture paste it on there we're going to do that three more times go ahead and get our other and there we go and all of this is just three parts compared to 28 parts. So when you're placing like 50 of these, it really helps when you're saving parts like that to optimize the game and not make it so laggy. This is just a very simple mobile home. 
it's not like a very detailed home but you can do the same thing on any building and I also wanted to include this in the video and when I'm building enterable buildings as you can see I do basically the same exact thing you just take a part and you make a decal for like a window frame or something and a door frame and also these little fencing here this is all just one part instead of using six parts to make this it just takes one and it's on a decal you can see you can still see it on the shadows and stuff so it still, still looks very realistic right, guys thanks for watching i hope this video helped you and just remember just keep it simple you know don't try not to use a lot of parts because if you because if you don't want your computer to sound like a helicopter when you join the game like liberty county if i when i play liberty county for whatever reason I guess it's just they like use a lot of parts in the game and every time I join the game my computer sounds like a helicopter and that is like one of the only games that does that in because they use so many parts anyways and also same thing with the roads some people will go and they'll make each one of these lines a separate part no just put it on a decal also I forgot to mention but to make the roof, just get a wedge piece, and then for like the shingles on top, the roofing, just make the texture or find like a shingles texture and put it on the top. Yeah, just when you're building stuff, you know, try not to use a lot of parts. Just use decals, and it just optimizes your game. So yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.